Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how to animate Phoenix. And Phoenix here is drawing with a giant XP pen. Uh, I don't know where he got that, but apparently he has one. And by the way, if you want to get your XP pen devices like drawing tablets and so, check the links in the description. And if you like this video, make sure you leave a like and obviously subscribe to this channel. That will help a lot. Thank you. Anyway, let's jump into this, right? So we have Phoenix here who is very steadily. Um, I guess he's drawing. I don't know what he's drawing particularly, but this here is frame by frame animation. And I'm gonna help you to break it down and learn how to do a similar animation. So for making this animation, we're gonna use obviously an XP pen drawing tablet and a software. And the software that we're gonna use today is called Krita. Krita is a free drawing software, so you can get it for free or you can get any other software that does a frame by frame animation. What frame by frame animation is basically uh, we're gonna draw drawings one after another and once we play those drawings we're gonna get a frame by frame animation uh this animation that you see here we're not gonna do this all at once okay uh we'll try to break down the character into different pieces for example first we're gonna do the walking part basically we're gonna focus on the legs the way they walk after that we can add the body and to that body we can add the head and to the head we can add the ears and of course we don't have to forget the tail yes phoenix has a tail he's a fox after all and on top of that we're gonna add the two which is the pen alongside with the heads so once we break this into uh, separate pieces it's easier to animate but before we get into that So I grabbed a couple of screenshots of Phoenix. Uh, as you notice, uh, he is not a 2D character on these shots. It, it is a 3D model. But in order for us to understand to draw Phoenix better, we can simplify him into simple shapes. So let's see what kind of shapes we can see. Very roughly, I'm just going to draw on top. And what you can see is, well, basically simpler shapes. Phoenix is basically a bunch of rectangular shapes uh, including the body, uh, the legs and the arms. We can call these cylinders but if you cannot draw a cylinder I guess a long rectangular shape will do and just keep it very simple. You don't have to do this but when you see the character with simpler shapes it becomes easier to understand how to draw the character. But once we have done this, you can see the shapes, right? I will pull them on the side and I will try to draw Phoenix in a position where he will be drawing. Uh, and of course, I will have a reference image on the side and I will try to make the sketch as close as possible. So here's what I got. We can still, let's say if we lower the opacity of our sketch layer and we draw on top, we can still see the simple shapes. So we did manage to stay in shape, I guess. <laughs> that looks not funny, I'm sorry. Anyway, moving on. Uh, <laughs> so we have our preference uh, sketch. From this sketch, we can start actually doing the animation. Now, before we jump into the animation, as I said, we, did, we are going to break down the character into different sections, if you will. First, we're going to do the lower part which is the legs and the bottom and then we're gonna do the body the tail the head with the ears and finally we're gonna add the pen with the hands before we jump into this let's first uh, check out Krita and see how to do frame by frame animation in Krita. it's not that complicated okay don't worry about it okay so here's Krita. we're gonna do a very quick bow animation uh, before I go, if you don't have this, uh, just go to Window, Workspace, and then Animation. Ideally, you will want to have the Animation Timeline, and the Advanced Color Wheel, of course, to pick your colors fast, and maybe the Onion Skin on the side. But once you click, once you press this Animation Workspace, you should have. 
the main stuff. If you don't have them though, go to settings and blockers and then you can find the animation timeline and the advanced course uh, lecture. In Kurtz, we're gonna do frame by frame animations, is it? And down here we have the animation timeline, and on the animation timeline we have a paint layer and we have a back roller. Basically, these two layers that we have here they appear in our animation timeline. So if I make more layers from this button, I will have more uh, uh, more <laughs> layers in the animation timeline. Now, obviously, I'm going to hit Ctrl and Z to undo my action. And for now, we're going to use the main the layer, the paint layer that we have here. Double click on that, and I can press. I can type bow press enter background layer usually you don't animate on the background layer and in this case the background layer is locked so we're gonna do our animation on our ball layer that we have here before we go before we start drawing or anything and make sure you set your frame rate uh if you click on this button press this button there we go <laughs> your frame rate usually is 24 but that's too fast uh, for our tutorial right now we're gonna use frame rate of 8 and press enter and obviously we're gonna make our mm, animation to be long exactly maybe 10 frames in this case will be 11 so as you know there's something changed here so i'm gonna press this button to close this and if i press this button and drag i can make my frames to be bigger before i start animating ideally you would like to create a blank keyframe and you notice that Twitter already, if I move my marker, you see that we have a blank keyframe. Inside this blank keyframe, now we can start drawing our ball. And here's our, our ball. Next keyframe is the same as this one, unless we press to insert a new keyframe over here. Now we have a new keyframe. I'm gonna animate this straight ahead, and I'm gonna sh show you why. So the ball goes up in the air, maybe here. I'm going to stretch the ball a little bit. Uh, I'm using, from this button here, I have a bunch of uh, brushes. I believe this is the default brush. We can use the default brush. And then we can make the size to be bigger or smaller. Uh, and then next keyframe, I uh, will be fast, don't worry about it. And yeah, we can stop here. Now we have a bunch of keyframes. If I go through them, you see that we have this weird animation happening and I guess I didn't I, I guess I uh, double uh, I created a new keyframe by mistake but uh, if I play this now uh, we will have a very janky key uh, not keyframe a very janky animation uh, the moment you you uh, let's say we make a new layer right I'm gonna hide this for now so this is our blank layer uh, it appears here on our timeline, but I haven't drawn anything. Even if I draw something, because we didn't add any keyframes, I cannot turn on my onion skin. But if I hide this, go back to this one. If I press the light bulb on this layer, uh, suddenly you see that I have onion skin. And there are the option here, the options for the onion skin. I did not use this on purpose to show you that it's important to have your onion skin on why because you can direct yourself you can see your previous drawing and your next drawing so the previous drawing is the one in uh, purple the next drawing is the one in green if i move next drawing you'll see this is the next drawing that we spot uh, that we speak the next drawing now will be the green one there you go and you can turn off the onion skin the moment uh, you press the light bulb on this layer as i said if i hide the main ball layer we don't have onion skin but the moment we insert the new keyframe then suddenly we have an onion skin and this is how we make very simple frame by frame animations in Kurtzman. I have prepared a very simple walk cycle here for you. If you want to know more about walk cycles, just Google walk cycles and then you'll see what I mean. Now, in the any walk cycle, you have to consider four main poses. This here is, is the contact position. After the contact position, we have the passing position. You have one of the legs passing the other one. And then in the next position, you have another contact position, but this time will be the opposite. 
if you have the front leg to be uh, on the right side then in this position you will have the front leg to be of the opposite position and again after this position we will have a crossing position again we will see one of the legs passing the other one once you establish these four main positions then you go in between them and add extra drawings the so-called in-between frames the in-between drawings between drawing A and between between drawing B. Between those two drawings, we're gonna have an in between, and that will be this sort of drawing. Once you do that for all the four main poses that I said in the beginning, you're gonna have a simple walk cycle. Once we establish how to do the walk cycle, and I was time to do it on top of our uh, sketch, the reference sketch that we did earlier. Uh, first, I'm going to do the legs. So, I'm going to make a new layer and I'll call this layer legs. And I'll start making the walk cycle animation just with the legs. I'm going to draw a circle as a base. And around that circle, I will just draw the feet going around it. So, I'm going to start off with the first main position, uh, which is the contact pose. We have the front leg, which is in front of the back leg. In this case, it's in the on the right is the front leg and on the left will be uh, our back leg and uh, we just continue to establish the four main positions once we do that we're gonna add the in-betweens the hardest part is to establish the walk cycle after we're done with that we're gonna make a new layer and on that layer we are going to draw the body but remember, we don't need to uh, over animate the body. The body will follow the legs. If, if the legs have a little bounce, the body will follow the legs. So what we need to do is to just control the body and duplicate the, the body keyframes and just move them up and down to get this sort of movement. Once we're done with this, uh, we can again make a new layer. This time our layer will be for the head. I will draw the head on a separate layer and I will add the ears afterwards because I do want to make the ears to have slightly movement. So the head will have the eyes and the mouth and the nose and the eyebrows but it will not be animated. It will go up and down the way the body does. So the ears will be uh, animated slightly and they will follow the head. So, we're gonna have something like this. The one thing that's missing is obviously the tail. Well, not just the one thing, but I think the tail is very important. So, how are we gonna do that? Well, we're gonna add a new layer, and that layer will be the tail. Uh, the tail will also be slightly animated. The, the tail will be animated on cues. So, I'm gonna make a new layer, as I said, I'm gonna call this layer tail and i will make the tail to bounce a little bit to go back and forth and the final piece to this amazing character will be the pen uh Krita has this symmetrical tool that you see there you can use to uh, draw on both sides and i think it's a great tool especially to draw in this case pens so i'm gonna use that on a separate layer I'm gonna draw the pen on the second layer and I'm gonna draw the hands on the second layer and I will combine these two layers and I will move them slightly with the rest of the animations. So we are not done. We have this very rough animation. So now it's time to do the line work, the line, the cleanup animation, uh, which will obviously uh, involve a lot of time right uh, so how are we gonna do that I decided to take the legs and the body as one so I did lower the opacity and I did leave the both of the layers of the legs and the body and I lowered the opacity of them and I made a new layer that I will do the clean lines uh, so I'm not just doing the legs on this layer I am doing the legs along with the body then we're gonna do exactly the same thing for the rest of the other parts of the body including the head including the ears and the hands and the uh, pen as well 
Once we have our clean up animation with the clean lines, then we can go in and simply color our character. Yeah, now we can color Phoenix. I did draw a reference um, sketch on the right uh, with the colors and everything. So what I'm going to do is to make new layer underneath every single line uh, layer that I made for the separate bodies and I will go again I'm going to use the bucket tool and I am going to fill in the parts where we need to have color and finally our animation is done that's Felix it took us a while but frame by frame animation is quite time consuming so you have to have patience if you're new to this don't be hard on yourself everything takes practice and if you put in the work you're gonna get better and better anyway make sure you check the xp pen tablet in the description down below and start your um, animation journey today thank you so much again for watching this long tutorial i hope you enjoyed it i hope you liked it and uh, yeah see you next time and don't forget to subscribe bye